How to Gnevni! So you've decided to head down the Russian destroyer line and you just realised, my god, how do you sail these not so biased Russian strongness machines? Well, you've come to the right. Oh, who put that there? Anyway, moving swiftly on. Now, if your captain doesn't have a strong Soviet beard, then send him to the gulag until he does. Now that's much better, isn't it? Fantastic beard, sir. Now, I would assume your main goal is to get to the tier 10 the Kahaka Kabab. The Kahaka I would recommend these captain skills on the bearded wonder. Preventative maintenance. As not biased as these ships are <coughs> biased, this skill will go a long way to keep your communism slingers up and running. Last stand. If you didn't pray to the Iron Jesus gods last night, then last stand will keep your Soviet sickle moving even if you haven't paid the bills. Demolition expert. Come on. Everybody would love an extra 2% chance to be invited to a barbecue. Now, I would normally say concealment expert for your destroyer captain, but as your concealment sucks in most Soviet destroyers and you won't be winning any medals for trying to cap points, I'd recommend advanced firing training. 20% of the range of them bad boy communism slingers will make Comrade Bearded Wonder a force to be reckoned with on the high seas. And I would also recommend these captain skills when your comrade gets promoted. Expert marksmen, so you can turn them slingers faster when you get stabbed in the back. Adrenaline rush, because drugs aren't illegal at sea apparently. Survivability expert, plus 350 Harry Potters would be fantastic. Basic firing training. Minus 10% to throw communism everywhere. And Superman, uh, Superintendent. Plus one to the shit I'm spotted clad. Plus one to the Eddie Murphy. Get the fuck out of here, button. And plus one to, oh look, I'm a battleship. Let's heal. Well, that was fantastic information. And I'm glad I sat there and listened to that. But Sorax, you still haven't showed me how to sail the ship in open wars. Well, I'm glad you fast. Well, what I would highly recommend not doing at the start of a game is pushing into the caps. Unless you've got a suicidal tendency or you're just not happy about yourself, um, I would highly recommend not doing what I'm about to show you. Because as you will see, you will get spotted by every other DD unless they're a Soviet one. So, oh look, golly gosh, I've been spotted. Guess what's coming? Yes, I'm about to eat a world of pain because I've been outspotted by a Japanese DD. This I would highly recommend against at the start of the game. Now when things have quietened down from the beating that you just took and you've managed to take stock on the, your inability to not push into caps and a DD pops up like the Shiriatsu, what you want to do is smash your Eddie Murphy button and go hunt the bugger down because this is the bane of your existence. If you can take this ship out, you will find it a hell of a lot easier to go and cap and actually do some damage. So what you want to do is use your communist slingers to wipe this Japanese person out. Yes, just fire communism. These are laser beams people, laser beams. They will pinpoint and hit the target from across the map. And when you finally do hit, you could say goodbye to Mr. Shiriatsu. But if he turns, like he just did, beware. There are most likely torpedoes on the way and they're gonna give you surprise butt sex if you're not careful. Oh look, I must be psychic. How could I tell that he was launching his torpedoes at me if I carried on sailing that way? Because he's a bloody Japanese destroyer, people. It's inevitable. If he turns broadside, there are torpedoes on their way. For no reason apart from, I thought this was fun. Oh look, random double team torpedo beats people. Oh yeah, fantastic skills. Once you have taken your enemies out and spread communism to the world, it is now time to push into the cap and ooh, look, a sneaky Japanese destroyer. And as we push out of the grey mists, we see the very rare Japanese Shiriatsu doing the mating dance of the Shiatsu Atsu. Yes, what we have to do now is give her what she needs some impregnation with communism from our communist slingers and send her on our honourable way. 
Now, if you find yourself being engaged by a fast firing potato gun destroyer like this Genevni here, what you want to do is engage a tactic that I, me alone, invented. It's called kiting. Basically, you want to go to a field on a windy day and get a kite out and start flying it, because apparently it makes you harder to hit and easier to hit the enemy. So, everybody, down to your local shop, let's get the kites out. Well, that was fun, wasn't it, people? I did enjoy flying my kite. But basically, now if the little bugger that has been chasing you all the way across the map trying to kill you pops his oh shit I'm spotted cloud and tries to cap your base, then you need to turn round and head towards that cloud because you actually get to use your bloody wicked tool, uh, sausage launching machines. Yes, we actually get to use the four kilometer range torpedoes. What we have to do is sneak up like a sneaky Soviet destroyer that we are, get close to the cloud and let our sausages fly and see if we can surprise him with a sausage party. Shh, sausages away people. We don't want to ruin the surprise now, do we? What you may find is, once you've killed this little bugger, he will spawn in as his younger self. What you need to do is focus all your effort to kill him now, or otherwise he will keep multiplying like one of them Russian dolls. Now if a cruiser or a battleship thinks it's a good idea to sail broadside onto you, then you need to load your anal probes and insert this instrument into their rectum repeatedly for extra damage. And as you will see, after a little while, the damage will rack up and the anal probe would have done its job. But if the ship decides to angle against you, you need to repeatedly fire upon him with your high energy potatoes. Yes, annoy the buggery out of him and try and set those lovely barbecues. And then you can invite all your friends to the party and you can have some fun. But what's this I see? Is that a broadside cruiser? Yes, now we, you know what time it is, people. Penal probe time. And now we need to insert the instrument and deal horrendous amounts of damage to the anus area. Come on, yes, anus time. Take that probe like a man. Oh, look, that's a, hey, yes, another broadside cruiser. Let's finish this one off. Anal probes out. Fantastic shots. Anyone would think I'm a doctor. And again, come on, come on. Let's insert it and three bloody hit points. Are you kidding me? My God, sir. Right, come on. Nobody's going to kill. Steal this one from me. Fire again. Anal probes out. And death. Well, there you have it, people. That's how to Gnevni by Soax. Now, if you apply everything you have learnt here today in this video, you'll be almost a good Gnevni sailor as I am. And don't forget the one tip that I'd highly recommend. The beard, people the beard. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one.